Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Graham and today we're going to be doing another Hot Toys figure unboxing and review. I know it's been a hot minute since I've done one of these videos and part of it is is because it's a lot of work and the other part is there's other people that review these figures but I do know that some of my followers do want just my opinion. Um, so you know I got this newer figure this Bo-Katan. I know she's been out for maybe eh, three or four weeks. I've, I've had her. I've been waiting to do a review. Today is finally the day, but before we get too far into this, I want to invite you to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell so you don't miss any new content coming your way. Alright, let's take a look at the box first. This is going to be the typical Star Wars box that they give us, and um, it looks nice. I love the figure of Bo-Katan herself on the front. I think they nailed this figure, but we'll get into that very soon. On the bottom, we do have the cigar band wraparound, which does give the, the box a little bit more color, a little bit more life, so that's a really nice look as well. And then on the side as well, we do have another portrait of Bo-Katan, kind of in like an action pose and whatnot, but I do like the, uh, the box that Star Wars does. It's simple, but it works. It's nice. I, I always like how they put the figure on the box itself, but enough of that. Let's get into what's inside the box. When we lay this thing down on the table and we lift off the uh, the cover here, we get another portrait of Bo-Katan in action, taking down a stormtrooper. And I gotta say, this is really cool. You got like the flame effect there going on. Looks nice. Once we remove that, we get our first look at the figure inside the clamshell. And Bo-Katan, I love this figure. I love the color scheme of this. Uh, I love the um, the helmet. It just looks so unique. She's got a lot of presence. Um, she looks very well done. You can see all the accessories that come with her. But for now, let's start by taking a look at the base that she comes with. It's going to be the typical rectangular base, but the paint application looks better. There's more depth to it. Comes with the dynamic pull, the dynamic grabber, and then we do have like this um, this front plate. I don't have the the silver plate they didn't give it to me so I gotta talk to Sideshow about that but that can be removed and then we can use this like railing here and put that against it and you can put the silver plate on that if you want there's no batteries or anything like that it doesn't light up but it just gives you a different look now for the accessories that come with our Bo-Katan there's not a ton but there's enough she comes with um, some pistols and I love the paint application here they have some pitting going on a nice dry brush I love the wood handle on them as well looks really really fantastic just the shape of the pistol is really nice as well comes with a bunch of different hands some gloved gripping hands um, you know typically you know, my least favorite part here you see one you see them all and then also the flames for the jetpack I think they came out with these for Mando and Boba Fett in the past so now you have them for Bo-Katan we have the grapple um, just be careful this can break kind of easily it's it's kind of flimsy but um, yeah it's good we have our communicator, which kind of looks like the same one that we got with Han Solo. Very small piece. And then, of course, we also have like a dagger that comes out of her um, her gauntlet. So that's a nice piece that you can use, too. We look at the portrait here, and I love this portrait of Bogotan. This looks great. The hair could be a little bit too dark. I feel like she had a, a lighter tone of hair color, but the paint applications look good. The head sculpt looks good. She even has that scar up above the uh, right eye there. I think... At all angles, this looks really super good, and I think I might have to pose this figure with this head sculpt on because it's just too good to leave in the box. All right, but here we have the figure outside of the box for the first time, just kind of standing straight up and down. And um, again, I love the blue colors that go into this thing with like the grays and the, the browns. I think it all just looks really good. I love the helmet itself. And, um, you know, the jet pack is, is very nice. I think the proportions on the body look good. Like, if we kind of look at her behind a little bit, it doesn't look like a Barbie doll. It looks like a normal female behind. <laughs> like, it looks it looks good. Um, it looks proportionate. You know, we got the pleather boots on the bottom. There is going to be a split-cut boot design. Uh, this figure is, is, is it's going to be good. I, I can't wait to get it in the shelf. But first, let's get a closer look at the figure itself. And going into the upper portion of the the figure itself we have the helmet and kind of that owl look to it i love the the shape of this helmet we got scratches we got um, wear and tear on it you have her um, tracking device that can move up and down it is pretty flimsy i'm surprised it hasn't broken yet for all the times i've dropped this helmet but 
it is really nice and you can kind of just see some of the head movement that we have here as well going down to the midsection the chest plate it's most of these plates are going to be velcro so you know i think that's pretty good you can remove them if you need to um we have the logo there on the right shoulder as well you can see the jet pack this is also going to be velcroed in so it's going to be solid it's going to be more sturdy i like this better than the magnet just because when i'm posing the figure it seems like the magnet likes to give a lot like it just the jet pack falls off so I'm um, going down we have like a pleather style belt here with a bunch of pouches it's very well done I think the brown really contrasts well on this figure and again gives it more depth here is a uh, very sore spot with us collectors there's a single joint elbow here no good also didn't get much of a swivel in the thighs as well very stiff figure which is good we want it to be stiff out of the box so that you know it's tight but not a lot of movement in the legs kind of surprising um, you can just see kind of like the pleather holster, um, just more proportions of the body here, getting your a closer look. We have the shin plates here with, again, more nicks and cuts and paint missing. We do have a split cut boot design that I mentioned, so that's really good for posing. Um, and, it, and the foot can rock back and forth as well. I mean, overall, it's a really good figure, but there are some issues. The single jointed elbows, I can't, I can't get that out of my head. Why? Why is that something that Hot Toys still does, especially when this figure is supposed to be dynamic and fly around and do different things and have weapons? I mean, outside of that, you can see that she does move pretty good, you know, in the arms and whatnot. But the other issue that I really had with this figure is the peg joints. They are really, really terrible. Um, they break in half every time I take the hands off. Let me know if you guys have had this issue too because it's a real big problem. I'll show a picture coming up here as well, but every time that I took them off, they would split in half. I even ruined one trying to get it out. So again, what Hot Toys, if you're watching, don't make these kinds of wrist peg joints anymore. All right, rant over. All right, so now we're getting this figure into some cool poses, and while we do that, I wanna talk about the things that I like and dislike about the figure. Starting with the things that I really like is the visual um, aspect of this figure and just how she looks. I love the color scheme, the blues look brilliant. The proportions to Bo-Katan and the actress look really, really nice as well. I think they, aesthetically, this is a very pleasing figure. The next thing that I really like about the figure is the portrait. I think it's really good. I know when we saw the prototype photos, you know, we weren't so sure and we thought the jawline would maybe be uh, a little too wide, but you know, it does look very good. It looks like Amy Sackhoff. I think the portrait is spot on and must be used with this with this figure. And the third thing that I like is that the jet pack is Velcroed on. It's stable, it's solid, it's not going anywhere, but you can still remove it if need be. It's not gonna fall off like if it were magnetized and it's not the old uh, Boba Fett style as well. Now for the things that I didn't like as much, the first would be uh, the single jointed elbows and not much like movement in the legs themselves. There's just, for a figure that's supposed to be dynamic, I don't feel like this one has a lot of posability, so that's a big problem. The second thing that I don't like is whatever Hot Toys is doing with these wrist pegs is not working. If I can't switch the hands without breaking these things in half every single time, then that's a problem. I shouldn't be afraid to switch out the hands, you know, when need be. And the third thing that I dislike is just kind of the extra railing accessory that they give us with the, uh, with the base. It's not needed for me, but I'm sure some people might like it. It should have at least had like a light up feature, but it is what it is. Overall, I'm really happy with the figure. Is it perfect? Definitely not. There are some things that I wish Hot Toys would do better, but I think she looks great on the shelf and I can't really complain about it. Hopefully you guys like this video. Let me know if you've got Bo-Katan in your collection. Let me know your thoughts on the figure and if you agree with me or if you have a different um, opinion. I'd love to hear from you. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss any new content coming your way. And until next time, stay safe out there and we'll see you soon.